for a bipolar medication stories, people who had taken their medicine. Next thing you know, they're looking for a new medicine or a higher dosage or mix Xanax with this and lithium with that and never able to, it, it becomes this obsession to find the right when it, I just, it, I just knew it, it was deeper, deeper than just chemical. I knew it just wasn't chemical. And I knew I wasn't psychotic. <laughs> um, do you want to? Uh... Well, we can sit right here. Let me, let me get my, I'm going to get my business to hire on. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Your autistic process. <laughs> Actually, autistic process, I guess. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool to hear that uh, freaking Elon Musk was diagnosed with that. Shoot, there's nothing, you know, Bruce. but God, but God, no matter what your cross you have to bear. I mean, of course, there are extreme cases. It's what? hard to understand. How is Brayden doing? Huh? Brayden's, Brayden's good. I haven't talked uh, to him or. Yeah, I hope he's well socialized. I hope so. Uh, he said something. <laughs> I bet he's cute as heck. Yeah, but he got, he has like some of like yes. uh, yeah, what he said <laughs> they she was like irritated because dad uh dad was dad wasn't even there and then somebody like <laughs> talked about god and brayden was like there is no god oh, like oh. just robotically oh. like he had hurt like but with a little bit of like an emo. Right, right. Man. Like was... you could tell some of like, like, I feel like maybe kids will like innocently like. Like you could tell there was uh, like intelligence behind it. Right, like he, he was, he had thought he figured it out. Yeah, it's like, what the hell? Which makes me remember, you have a little gold baby ring with a B on it. Yeah, I bet he's cute as heck. Yeah. It's kind of like the scared straight when they take kids to prison. Take you to a nut house and see what can happen. And boy, how is kind of taking get busy. I checked myself in more than one, once, like probably four times. Not to say they wouldn't keep, they didn't keep me though. They just held my own for a few hours. One time at the Scenic County Hospital, I went to see the doctor and told her I was surprised. He said, Girl, all you need is a little change jingling around in your pocket. You'll be just fine. <laughs> that was 
assistance for can diagnosis. <laughs> And intelligence and quite charming, often tearful. Mental 5150 hold previous to that. I honestly, yeah, it's uh, less about learning anything. I was like, everything, everything, boom. I don't, why I didn't know that. I, I didn't see the value in learning or knowledge. All I did was run around with Jeffrey making fun of people, having fun, pulling pranks, like that was my coping mechanism. I didn't realize I was running from everything in my life that I had to face my future. Like I had no clue what I was going to do. Didn't know what color I liked. I had no idea who I was on the inside. All I knew is nobody ever seen me without makeup and my hair done. I'd spend like two hours doing it. So. I was like pretty dumb. Shane, can you explain it to the Yeah. Can you ask Molly to do it? Molly, can you do that, please? Thank you. Oh. And if you can. Pack Shane's bags for his trip. That would be really, really helpful. You can put in an order to Big and Tall Express shipment. Could you imagine having it like that? I would do that very well. <laughs> I would literally be driving in my car with no aim, nowhere, not knowing anywhere I wanted to go, just lost. Go to a stop sign, not know whether to go left, right, straight, and have a freaking little breakdown. I'm just here. I'm just here. But that was really just, I'm just here. I don't know why. That nervous breakdown made me really wonder why I'm here. But my purpose is. Marijuana use, pills, alcohol, all the combinations. He drank a 12 pack every single night. 
The only problem okay. is we don't have a mic to pick up the I volume. I, well, I do have, I gave that mic away. <laughs> well, I, I'm not talking to, talk to that. And, um, I do have this, I don't know how it works. Yes. There's a name brand on this or something. Oh, look, it's got this. See if it works, Shane. See if mm. it plug in and work. Oh, let's see here. I don't think it's not, I mean, I don't think it's not working. Oh, there we Can I? So, um, in that 1897, William James wrote a minister of the social gospel who had asked him to give some lectures. Uh, William James but I answered your question that I will lecture on one demoniacal possession, two witchcraft, three degeneration, and four genius. Damnation generally, you see. We, of course, are much less startled than the minister must have been if we have read the Gifford lectures that James gave at Edinburgh four years later, the varieties of religious experience. In them, he patiently and enthusiastically explored the concrete documentation he could find for confessions of vile wretchedness, panic, fear, spiritual torment, dramatic conversions, ascetic heroism, and ecstatic surrender. He drew his material from the lives, um, ecstatic surrender. He drew his material from the lives of saints, philosophers, artists, and ordinary people from Protestants, Catholics, Jews, Buddhists, Christian scientists, transcendentalists, Quakers, Mormons, Mohammedans, Mal Mal Melanesian cannibals, drug takers, atheists, and neurotics, including himself in the guise of an anonymous Frenchman. For all their seemingly bizarre morbidity, the lectures were very popular and the book itself sold better than anything else he had written. Perhaps his popularity also was also an index of the number of people who are looking for some way to give a religious meaning to their own inner conflict. Uh, there's definitely, I mean, there's a reason there's an inner conflict. <laughs> and it's real. Yeah. It's real, real. Oh, sure. Yeah. Trying to 
Well, it is. I can figure it. Huh? I'm trying to figure it. William James? Well, he was, he was the only person that, uh, say i think carl Jung was the person who said he was the only person you could have i've ever had a, he was the most genuinely um able to or not prone to his own um he could look at different Bias. he could look at yeah he could look at different um, perspectives. Right. He understood the complexity. Yeah, and he wasn't, um, yeah, he just wasn't uh, prone to his, his biases, I suppose, is the. Well, you think about the complexity of one individual. There's no way people, you know, it's hard enough to figure out yourself. So other people coming in and judging you or labeling you or persecuting you, like really they don't know where you're coming from.